A 25-kilogram box of textbooks rests on a loading ramp that makes an angle with the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.25 and the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.35. As the angle is increased, find the minimum angle at which the box starts to slip. At this angle, find the acceleration once the box has begun to move and at this angle, how fast will the box be moving after it has slid 5 meters along the loading ramp? So there is a, um, there is a ramp, a loading ramp, which makes an angle of, a certain angle with the horizontal. All right. Now, we don't know the angle, so let's set that as theta. Then there is a 25 kilogram box of textbooks. On that ramp. Okay, so let's say that that is the box. It's 25 kilograms. And then in letter A, the question is, as the angle is increased, find the minimum angle at which the box starts to slip. So meaning at that point, um, the static friction, the starting friction has been overcome. So this question has been solved in the previous answers. I mean, in the pro previous problems, that the angle of slip is given by tangent theta equals mu s. So that theta is equal to the arc tangent of the coefficient of static friction. So arc tangent of static friction is 0 0.35 so our angle of slip or the angle at which the box will start to slip is get your calculator that's arc tangent of 0 0.35 that is 19.2900 degrees now at that angle in letter B, at that angle, find the acceleration once the back box has begun to move. So meaning, what are the forces involved? We have the kinetic friction. We have the weight downward, which means that parallel to the ramp, the downward component is FW sine of theta and of course it's moving downward so net force no, is downward so f net is equal to f w sine of theta minus the frictional force friction kinetic friction so MA, net force, is equal to MG, sine of theta, minus the kinetic friction mu K, Fn. But what is Fn equal to? Now, this is, this is forces parallel to ramp. Looking at the forces perpendicular to the ramp, F net is equal to, what are the forces here? So we have the net force, it is directed upward, and we have the horizontal component of the weight, Fw cosine of theta. So upward is F normal downward is fw 
um, cosine of theta. But the net force here is zero. So it's not moving. So Fn equals Fw cosine theta, or that is mg cosine of theta. So substituting ma equals mg sine theta minus mu k fn is mg cosine of theta. So we can just cancel m. So acceleration is equal to g sine of theta minus mu k g cosine of theta. So we can factor out g. So sine of theta minus mu k cosine of theta. So g is 9.81 meters per second squared times sine times sine of 19.29 degrees minus the coefficient of kinetic friction in the given is 0 0.25 cosine of 19.29 degrees. So our acceleration is equal to that's 9.81 times sine of 19.29 degrees minus 0 0.25 cosine of 19.29 degrees. And that is equal to 0 0.9259 meters per second squared. Now, in letter C, we are looking for Okay. In letter C, we are looking for the um, velocity. After it has moved 5 meters, what is the velocity now? At this angle, how fast will the box be moving after it has slid 5 meters along the ramp? So we already have the acceleration. We have the angle. We are looking for how fast it's moving. So for letter C, what is velocity at x? Let's consider the distance. x equals um, 5 meters. So vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ax. But since it started from rest, then vi is 0. So vf squared is 2 times the acceleration 0 0.9259 meters per second squared times our distance of 5 meters. Let me just extract the square root there. So our final velocity, the velocity after it has moved um, 5 meters is Okay, that's 3.0429 meters per second. So that's how fast the box will be moving after it has slid down 5 meters along the ramp.